Hey guys, this is Ricky Kesterson with Elliot Thomas and Cole Slayton from Futural Marine. We're out here on beautiful Lake Hamilton today in the Barletta 22 Cabrio C22UC with the Merck 200 horsepower four stroke. This is America's number one selling boat. There is no question about it. Cole, tell me what you like so much about this Barletta. What I like about it is um, this a functionality of the boat. You see a lot of features and benefits um, that you would expect to see in a very expensive boat. And, and, and a model like this is very aggressively, uh, you know, very aggressively priced. So some components like fold down armrest up in the front end of the boat. We have ample amounts of storage underneath all of our seats here. Simple things like pull straps on the seat to easily be able to open that up. Portable cup holders that you can move around the boat. Uh, on the back side of this chair, this compartment opens up and doubles as a table. So components like that, that I think that are really important um, whenever you're shopping and looking at, but also when you're actually out on the water using the boat, some, some of those components there that are very important. Cole, how does the Barletta soft touch vinyl, how does it differ from other manufacturers? You know, it's extremely plush, it's extremely comfortable. Um, you know, you feel like you're sitting in a, uh, you know, a high-end sports car. Uh, you have some two-tone upholstery, so it kind of gives about a very, very unique style. Uh, looks really good, feels very good, and very easy to keep clean, too. And same thing with their, uh, with their flooring? Correct, yeah, so you have your vinyl flooring. Um, if you're looking at a party barge out on, in the market today and it's got carpet, you're looking at the wrong boat. Um, so this is the vinyl flooring, very nice stuff, very easy to clean. So literally, you know, just spraying it out with your water hose. It doesn't say saturated like carpet would. Uh, so not gonna, not gonna mold, not gonna mildew. Very, very nice flooring. All right, Elliot's gonna tell us a little bit about the helm station and the console area. Hey guys, so we are here at the all new captain's home for the 2023 Cabrillo series. Uh, first thing you're going to notice right off the bat is I am sitting on a raised captain's home. So this is a new feature and it's standard for the Barletta Cabrillo series for 2023 and their 22 and 24 footprint boats um, and everything moving forward. So the raised helm is new for 23 model year. Raised helm is new for 23 model year. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Um, we've also got a new configuration at the dash, so toggle switches, um, stainless steel toggle switches across for all your pertinent um, instruments, and then you've got a digital gauge cluster that's standard for Barletta, uh, of course your mile per hour gauge, and a multi-gauge cluster with trim, uh, trim indicators and fuel gauge indicators as well too. Um, all of your, your really nice information right there. Uh, standard for the Cabrillo series is a low rance hook five system with navigation capability, GPS speed readout, and also fish finding options. You've got the Hertz audio components, full Bluetooth connectivity. You've got a USB charge port, uh, auxiliary inputs as well too. So everything is really nicely equipped at the Barletta Cabrillo home. We've got a wireless charging pad too. That is new for 2023. It's a wireless puck right there finds a really nice place for your phone. Uh, the Mercury, of course, uh, throttle mechanism. Very, very fluid, very comfortable position. You don't have to worry about folding it forward and hitting the dash. It's just perfect where it sits. The raised helm really, really sets us apart from other boats in this class. I mean, it really gives you better visibility, sets you up a little bit higher. And uh, anyway, I think that's a nice touch for 23 model year. Oh yeah, great. And one thing too, that I've always loved about the Barrio or the Cabrillo Barletta boats is the fact that you've got a ton of leg space right here at the front of the boat. Um, you don't have to necessarily sit uh, facing sideways. You can sit facing forward. You've also got new for 2023, a locking glove box compartment down here as well. So uh, really nice features, uh, a lot of standard options that you don't see in any other boat at this price point. Nice, nice, nice. This boat comes with the co-captain's share. So you have the captain and the great, uh, great co-captain's share, which is one of our most popular uh, floor designs for uh, for Barletta. And uh, you'll also see that this boat has the uh, in-floor storage. That's one of the largest lids you'll see on in-floor storage anywhere in our industry. And it'll, it'll, it's deep and it's, uh, it's got a lot of storage in there. Mostly, uh, it's a great place to put your boat cover and all your all of your life jackets. Cole, what about the back of the boat? Tell me about the back of the boat, this boat. So this is the UC floor plan. So this is the Ultra Lounge. Um, I think this is taking the industry by, by storm. You'll see a lot of manufacturers out there that try to make something similar to this, but Barletta's done a very good job. So we have this large bolster right here that'll fold forward and backward, depending on how you'd like to lay out. And it'll actually lay down completely flat, so I can make this a large bed area. How I've currently got it set up is how uh, me and my family take the boat out. This is how we like to set ours up. So I've got these two cushions sitting 
sitting up facing backwards towards the engine and I have another seat facing forward. So now I've created forward and rear facing seating on the boat. So very user friendly. There's a lot of different ways that you can um, adjust the seating depending on how you're uh, cruising around on the way. Also, you can see I'm This benefits you is when you're out on the water it's very comfortable to be able to walk from one side of the boat to the other if I'm helping the kids on and off the inner tube I don't feel like I'm walking on a narrow you know walk or something like that it's a very comfortable area here and one nice feature that this boat's got again standard is rear facing speakers on the boat uh, when you kind of go through and check in boxes on, on, a, on a boat that you're shopping for that's a very popular feature and that's standard on now, where the where are those speakers so located? they're right down here they're facing backwards so let's say y'all are swimming in the water so if you're anchored you're, out and everybody's swimming out exactly. you've got okay yeah, yeah that's good the music from that's the outside good, of the boat. that again, ski toe good. looks really uh it looks like it's uh pretty well built no it's extremely sturdy it's through bolted to the crash members uh, you know of the boat and this is a standard feature when you option the boat as a tri-tune this is a standard feature you get along with that so um, when you're kind of looking at things that are that are important to you when you're out on the water there's a lot of boxes that get checked as standards on the on the barletta would you show me just real quick how all this uh, yeah, lays sure. down just to make a so let's cause some we, people really like just the, the layout bed feature yeah so let's let's, uh, let's fold these back and we'll store these these down real quick okay that's not too hard no super easy so those just hinge down they clip into place and fold down flat so now i've created a rear facing bed on the boat wow and again i can lay this down completely flat like so oh my and i can come okay. back here and then now kick this up facing towards the front of the boat and then now i've created a lounge going the other direction again, what a, let's, what a, so yeah. let's look at one other feature so now i've got the ability for someone to lay out here but let's say that I still want to be able to, to sit uh, sitting up there. Now I've created a bed facing forward and a seat facing backwards. So again, extremely user friendly depending on how you want to use the boat when you're out on the lake. Last but not least, the Barletta Bimini Top. Uh, yeah, so their yeah, standard Bimini is, yeah, is standard, unique. Standard power Bimini Top. Uh, just a touch of touch of a button to be able to open open and close your Bimini Top. It's a 10 foot shade, uh, so it's very nice. One thing that's a a cool feature that we do with ours when we're out let's say it's heading towards sunset and i want to create shade over the entire boat i don't have to have this up or down i can hold it up at any position so i can create shade let's say the sun was behind me and i can create shade over the entire front of the boat which is which is a nice feature to have power bimini top standard on the barletta power bimini all right mighty fine great 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 uh future marine hot springs heber springs nashville arkansas uh, we have a uh, large selection of the Barletta 22 UCs. We've got about every color you can imagine. Uh, so check our website out, futuralmarine.com, or give us a call. Ask for Cole, Elliot, any of our sales team there will help you. Uh, thank you for your time. www.futuralmarine.com. Hope to see you on the lake soon.